All right, those of you who are watching this at home, I'd like you to stop the recording and write down everything that you see above the word examples. And the word examples is right here on the page. So please go ahead and copy that down. And then we'll continue the recording. Okay, we'll continue now. Uh, you have all the stuff up top, so you can actually look at that while I'm going through the examples with you. But we'll start the first example by looking at the, the first set of instructions. Okay, If the number out front is 1, that means if you change the sign of the power of 10, that will be equal to the pH or pOH. So let's go ahead and do the example that asks that particular question first. Now you see the number out front is 1, and there we go. There's our 1, and because that's 1, this power of 10 right here is going to be the actual pH. All we have to do is change the sign. So the pH becomes what? It's equal to 4. And if this had been, instead of hydrogen ions, if this had been hydroxide ions, what would the what would the P be? It would be I changed the H to OH one minus. What is it? It'll be the POH. Right. So I did the the acid stuff in red like I had done before and the uh, basic stuff in blue. So now let's let's check out this second part. If number out front is not 1, and the number out front is this guy, okay, or this guy, or this guy, or this guy, okay, these are the numbers out front. That's what I'm referring to in this particular section right here. So move the decimal of the number out front one to the left. Okay, let's do it. Let's take this guy, we'll bring him over here, and we'll move the decimal one to the left. 0.32. Okay, that's the first thing we have to do. Number two, change the sign of the power of 10. All right, here's our power of 10, and we're going to change the sign, so that becomes 8. So it's just 8. Point zero zero, and what we're doing is the minus log. So if we minus log the power of ten, it becomes a positive eight. If we minus log the three point two, it becomes a negative, which is why we're going to subtract it. It's actually a negative number because we're doing the negative log, and this really isn't the negative log, but it's close enough. Okay, that we can do this, and you'll get it right on a test. Okay, so change the sign of the power of 10. Did that. Okay, we moved this guy. Now the last thing we have to do is number 3 here, and now we subtract the number out front from the sign changed power of 10. The sign changed power of 10 was a minus 8 going to a plus 8. And the sign changed number out front is a minus 32. So we have 7.68, and that is equal to what? What's that equal to? 8. That's the pH. Equals the pH. Yes? Always subtract. Because this guy will always be a pop. The, the 3.2 here will always be a positive, and the power of 10 will almost always be a negative. You're not going to see positive powers of 10 when you get to CFC. Not at all. Okay? All right. Let's see if you can do this on your own. Give this one, the this, this dude right here, give this a try. See if you can do it. Okay, let's see how you did with this uh, OH concentration. First of all, you can see I put the little arrow there to move the decimal over in the 9.7. So our 9.7 becomes a 0.97. And that 
is where that comes from. Our minus 12 becomes a plus 12 because we're changing signs. The 9.7 becomes a 0.97. And it, it, it also becomes a negative. So we got 3, 0, and 11. So 11.03, 11 what is that? P-O-H. That's a P-O-H. Mm -hmm. And this was the easy guy. The hydrogen ion concentration, 1 times 10 to the minus 4. What if it were 1 times 10 to the minus 10? What would the pH be? Ten. Yeah, sure, P10. Okay, so this this is always an easy one where you got a one up front. Got to love those. And you, you probably get something like that on the CST, something close to it. Okay, now let's look at the hydroxide ion concentration. And now, what are we going to do? Let's get rid of this guy. Okay, this is going to be 0.45, and we change the sign so it's. So it's minus 0.45. And here, let's get this guy. This is where that guy came from. Oh, let's put it out on the side here so it doesn't get down. Oh, wow, I got that good and erased, didn't I? 0.45. And let's draw this line over to here. Okay, that's where this guy came from. And now this dude is going to be get a change of sign, and now we have a minus 0.45 because the 45 was a positive number, and the minus 2 became a plus 2 over here. And now we just do the math. We get 5, 5, and a 1. And what is that? This is the POH. Any questions? Yeah. So if we were supposed to find the H, the pH, we're supposed to decide by 14, right? No. Oh the yes, yeah. absolutely. Since this is the pOH, if we want, if I asked you to find the pH, remember the pH plus the pOH, which we're going to see in the slide in just a little bit. Well, let's do that right now. pH plus pOH is equal to 14. Absolutely. So we would take 14, subtract the 1.55, and that would give us a pH. Yes, absolutely. That's how you work that. But remember, whatever the, con whatever the concentration is, that's going to be what comes after the P, P-O-H or P-H, determined by what we start with. Okay? Now, the next thing is going to be nice and easy as well. Go ahead and copy this down. This is anti-logging. This is uh, minus logging, what we just did. This is finding the minus log of a concentration. And the minus log gives us a pH or a pOH. And let's, okay. All right, so now I'd like you to copy, stop the recording and copy down what you see on this page now. And then we'll go ahead and go through the examples. Now, I hope you've tried doing, uh, well, I guess you couldn't do the examples, maybe the first one. But we're going to run an example now. And what I'd like you to do is turn off the tape right now and try working that first one out on your own. And then, uh, then start the, the video again and watch and see what we do. OK, here we go. The first direction that we got was to round the pH or pOH to the next largest whole number and change its sign. And that becomes the power of 10 in the concentration because we're taking the pH or the pOH back to the concentration. It's the opposite of what we did on the first page. So round this up to the next largest number becomes it has to be the next largest whole number. Five. five. So this becomes 5.00. And that is going to give us the power of 10. 10 to the what? 
Yes, because we have to change the sign. Just like we did before, we're changing the signs again. Yes, Francisco? Does it mean matter, like, let's say it was four point bubble? It won't ever be four point. Oh, oh, you mean this guy? Yeah. This guy here? Like, it doesn't matter how close it is to four, you still have to go up. You never down. Absolutely. You always go up. Always go up. Why? Because you're going to subtract this guy. Okay? The, this, this guy, when you move the decimal over, is going to be what you're going to subtract from the 5.0. The 5, oh, I'm sorry. You just subtract it. You don't have to move the decimal this time. Okay? So you're just taking the 4, and it, you're changing its sign, and you're going to subtract it. Okay? Zero. Oh, 4.33. 4.33, we're going to subtract that out, and we get 76.67. Okay? Now we move the decimal. So it's 6.7 times 10 to the minus 5. And what is this? Yeah, but well, what is it? Uh, 8. Hydrogen or hydroxide ion concentration? Hydrogen. Hydrogen. You bet. Okay. Hydrogen ion concentration. Yes, I hope you. I was hoping you feel that way. <laughs> you want to say that a little louder? That's easy. Oh, good. He said it's easy. Yes. <laughs> yes, it's being recorded. Okay. So, why not have a good time? <laughs> Okay, so next biggest total number seven. Seven point oh oh. Okay, we take this guy and move it in here and we're subtracting it out. Six point six three. So we get seven three. Okay, point three seven. Now, this guy becomes our power of ten. So this is ten to the what? Minus 7. Right. You've got to change the sign. And what's the number out front? 3.7. And this is what? This is the hydroxide ion concentration. Whoops. Not a plus. This guy's a minus. And we put him in brackets. Brackets indicate that it is a con concentration. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Next biggest whole number. 2.00. Okay, and this guy, we subtract 1.48. Just take it as it is, move it over here and subtract it, and we get 25.52. Okay, this becomes our power of 10. So this is 10 to the what? Minus 2. Minus two. All right. And then we have the 5.2 times. That is the hydrogen ion. Good, you anticipated my question. I like that. Right. Cool. Hydrogen ion concentration. And then our last one here. Let's expand this well so we can see it better in the back of the room. All right, next biggest whole number. Six. Six. Six all, all. And now we take this guy and we subtract him. 5.91. Okay, this is 9 and this is 0. 0 0.09. This is going to create something that we have to deal with after we're done because we're not going to get scientific notation out of it. Okay, we'll deal with that in just a minute. Okay, here we go. Power of 10? Minus 6. Minus 6. And what's the guy out front? 0.99. Okay, we're. This is 0 0.09, right? No. Oh, we got to move to this one. Sorry. Oops. Sorry. Okay, so this is 0 0.9. Now, now we still have an issue. We're not in scientific notation. So we got to change this to 9. When we do that, the power of 10 is going to have to change, isn't it? One more minus. So 10 to the minus 7. Oh. And this is equal to what? This is the OH minus concentration. 
Okay. There we go. This is easy, isn't it? Yeah. A lot easier than using the table. Yeah. Essentially, what you were doing when you used the table is you take, like in this last problem, you take the 5.91 and you find the anti-log of it, and uh, then, you know, yeah, the anti-log. And as you as you take that anti-log, you would have a number here that would be a little bit more accurate. Okay, but. This is good enough to, to be a good guess and get you close enough to get the right answer on a test. All right. These things you want to write down. So I'll stop the recording, and you can all write this down. OK, now that you have that down, what, what, what this is saying is that the pH and the pOH added are going to give you 14, but the concentrations of the hydrogen ion and the concentrations of the hydroxide ion are a whole different ball game because those are guys those guys have to be multiplied they're not logarithms pH and pOH are logs your numbers are always logarithms and the way you multiply logarithms is by adding that's why these guys are added and the, the guys on top here these are added and these guys have to be multiplied. Essentially doing the same thing. Okay. Now, this is a graphic out of our textbook, not out of the dumbbell textbook. And this graphic is wonderful because I want you to watch something. 7 plus 7 is? 14. <laughs> pH plus pOH, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. 10 plus 4? 14. 2 plus 12? 14. Uh -huh. So, this, what this is telling you is that this 10, let's go to this guy right here. Notice the power of 10 is minus 10, or the, is minus 10, yeah. And notice that for the 4, the power of 10 is a minus 4, because that is the minus log. Okay, the 4 is the minus log of the power of 10. And when the power of 10 has a number 1 out front, it's very, very easy to convert, which is what this whole chart is. Now, watch this. 10 to the minus 5 times 10 to the minus 9. What is that? Mm -hmm. Hydrogen ion times hydroxide ion, 10 to the minus 14. Making sense? Oops, wrong way. Okay. So, these guys are really wonderful, and you need to remember this. Acidity is less than 7. Basic is more than 7. If you don't remember anything else, don't forget that one. That's, that's, that's basic to everything that we do with acids and bases. And you'll see about one-tenth of your questions will be on acids and bases. So if you got that down, you should be